Uh, at ASCO 2018, I had the pleasure to present the first results from the DCARE trial, which is a study looking at the role of adjuvant denosumab in early breast cancer. So denosumab is a, a, an inhibitor of rank ligand, which drives osteoclast function and uh, bone resorption. And we've known for some years now that there uh, is uh, a potential link between bone resorption uh, and uh, the survival of tumor cells within the bone microenvironment. Uh, many studies have looked uh, previously at bisphosphonates, which affect uh, bone cell function, and shown that they have the ability to reduce uh, breast cancer relapses and breast cancer deaths. And the DK study was to look at this very specific antibody treatment for uh, bone turnover and see if this could um, prevent uh, disease recurrence. So what the DCARE study comprises is a, a randomized placebo-controlled trial of 4,500 women uh, who took denosumab given uh, initially every, every month for six months alongside their chemotherapy and then every three months thereafter for five years. And we followed these patients closely, not only with the usual clinical follow-up, but they also had annual uh, CT and bone scans to check for recurrence. Uh, so we screened for recurrent events. Uh, the main endpoint of the study, or the primary endpoint of the study, was, was a slightly unusual one. Uh, was not the clinician's choice of endpoint, actually. It was something that was mandated by the FDA, something called bone metastasis-free survival. Uh, and unfortunately, with that primary endpoint, we didn't see a benefit in favor of the denosumab. The hazard ratio was very close to one. I think many of us feel it was the wrong endpoint because um, um, many of the uh, patients that contributed to that endpoint, they died of other things or they died of problems that were unrelated to their bone disease. Um, but nevertheless, the, the trial was, was negative. Um, we saw some small effects on time to first bone recurrence, we saw reductions in fractures, but unfortunately from a clinical practice point of view, uh, denosumab at this intensive scheduling uh, won't be going forward for approval. Uh, alongside my study was a report from the Austrian group who've done a, a further study with denosumab using a lower dose at a lower schedule. They did see some improvements in terms of uh, disease outcomes, although they were slightly strange in that it was uh, as much uh, preventing new, new primaries from other sites as it was uh, preventing breast cancer recurrence. So I think for practicing clinicians what this means is that uh, if you're going to use a bone targeted agent uh, to prevent metastasis then we're best sticking with the bisphosphonates for which we have good evidence that these are effective and we need to look more at denosumab and other other molecules in the future.